With the rise of short form content like YouTube Shorts, Reels and TikTok, attention spans are dropping massively. So how do you make sure that your product stays on top of the mind of your users? It's simple, just follow these five secrets. And the fifth one is super interesting. Make it personal. Netflix uses a recommendation algorithm to suggest shows and movies based on the user's viewing history, while YouTube creates a personalized home screen for each user based on their viewing history and interest. And that's why you might have seen how the YouTube looks completely different for your best friend and you. It's because of your viewing history. So if you have any weird videos in there, you know who to blame. And now if you go to your Spotify app, you will notice that you have personal playlist recommendations based on the songs you hear. So if you are a Taylor Swift fan, most likely your playlist will have a lot of Taylor Swift or Arijit Singh, who knows. So personalization is not something that you will only see in OTT or music platforms. You can even see it in the basic apps like Amazon, which makes product recommendations based on your purchase history. So if you think your apps are not tracking your history, you are wrong. Now I know you must be thinking personalization is the way to go. But wait till you hear the next point. Make it fun. Gone are the days when designs were plain, basic and boring. Now is the time to use interactive elements to grab that attention of your user. It not only makes your user engage, but also makes the process a lot more fun. For example, using GIFs, interactive animations, infographics, quiz, calculators, survey, social sharing buttons and a lot more. So bring out the creative genius in you. Looking for some examples? Go to LensCut for instance. The way you are able to interact with the frames, try them on just at the comfort of your home, it keeps you hooked on the website and for some people it can go on for hours. So bring out the creative funny genius in you and get over those boring designs. Let's make something interactive. Which reminds me, this point is not complete without talking about the next point. But before we go to the next point, here's a quick reminder. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss out a video from our channel. Now let's get back to the video. Gamification. Gamification is a great way to keep users engaged and even motivated as it adds fun to your interactive element. Now you must be wondering what is gamification? Well, gamification can take many forms such as adding points, badges or levels to your design, creating challenges or competitions or even incorporating a storyline. By providing challenges to overcome or goals to achieve, you're basically giving them a sense of accomplishment and they will keep coming back to your product for that. Now, gamification is something all the fields can leverage, but they're particularly helpful in fields like hospitality, fitness, health, and education, where it encourages users by converting these boring tasks into games, you can actually motivate and encourage your users. Let's look at some apps that use gamification at its best. Duolingo. Duolingo is a language learning app that uses gamification to make learning a new language so much fun and engaging. They can even compete against their friend to see who learns the most. And users earn points and badges as they complete lessons and progress through the levels. Another example is Dream 11. Dream 11 is a fantasy sport app that allows you to create their own virtual teams and compete against users. This app uses gamification to make sports so much more exciting and engaging for users as they can earn points and rewards for winning matches and making the right predictions. Similarly, Paytm actually uses gamification to make you use the app more frequently. It offers cashback rewards, discounts and other incentives for making payments through the app, which in turn keeps bringing back their customers to the Paytm app. In fact, since we're talking about Paytm, I'm sure most of you have heard about Google Pay as well. Google Pay has also taken gamification to the next level. It uses things like scratch card points and badges. And in fact, during festive weeks, people can even collect and redeem these badges to win exciting vouchers. All these apps show how gamification can be used to keep the user motivated and keep coming back to your product. Now you must be wondering, designing gamification interaction and personalization can take a little while. So the next tip is super easy to follow. Get to the point as soon as possible. Since the user retention is going down day by day, so how do you make sure your user retains the information? Try to make it simple, crisp and short. How can you do that? Here's a simple trick. Instead of paragraphs and long text, use headings and bullet points. Anyway, the 
user is not going to read every single thing you write in your product. So make sure you make it super crisp and the user feels like you have thought it through before putting it out there. Break it down into smaller sections and try using more visuals than using text for everything. It reduces the cognitive load and it makes it very easy to process the information. For example, Canva uses a lot of images, icons and even videos to make the information very easy to understand and grasp. And not just that, news apps like InShorts uses clear, concise language and limit the amount of information on each page to make it super easy to understand and retain this information. In fact, if you want to learn more about the law of chunking and want to give it a shot, make sure to check out my video on UX law. I will link it down in the description below. Now that we have understood how to keep the user engaged, how do we make sure that they keep coming back to our product? To answer that, we will move on to the next point. Carefully crafted push notifications, reminders of the app. Let's say your user loved your design while they were using the product. Now they have closed the app and they forgot about your product. How do you bring them back? Carefully crafted push notifications. This not only reminds the user of the last time they visited the app. In fact, this can also be used as an opportunity to share the new and exciting updates with them. Look at apps like Zumato and Swiggy. They have aced the way push notifications are sent. And every time you get a notification from Zumato, you automatically start feeling hungry for no reason. In fact, many other other apps like Dunzo, Tinder and Uber are also making the most of push notifications. They use this to bring back the user and even remind them of a new update or a new feature that the company has launched. And you can make the most of these push notifications with fun interactions, gamifications, personalization and chunking information. And finally, it's important to continuously test and improve your app based on feedback and metrics. Apps like CleverTap use metrics to track user engagement and make improvements to keep the users interested and engaged. By following these tips, you can design products that capture and retain user attention even during an age with shorter attention span. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. See you in the next one.